Like many of us, Selena Gomez once had the Bieber fever, but their chapter has officially closed and she is making claims that pop sensation Justin Bieber emotionally abused her. I'm here to tell you all about it right now on IO. I'm your host for this one, I'm Joss Bedard. Thanks for coming back to Inform Overload. Come say hi on social media, our links are down below. And if you stick around to the end of my news story, I might even respond to some of your comments and run an embarrassing blooper reel. Might. Just kidding. I will because it's my job. So don't miss out on that. The singer dropped her new album called Rare on January 10th, 2020, and many of her songs are believed to reflect on her past on and off relationship with Justin. Don't even play, we all know that Lose You To Love Me was obviously written about him. She did an interview just a few days ago with National Public Radio and left fans in total shock and probably Justin too. She spoke about the song saying she wrote it because she didn't feel like she got the closure she deserved and that it was a great way to close the chapter emotionally. The interviewer was blunt and asked if the song was written about her troubled relationship with Justin and Selena replied with, you had to get the name in, I get it. So she didn't confirm nor deny it, but I feel like we are not dumb and we got you girl. We are picking up what you are putting down with those lyrics. She went on with the interview and claimed that she was a victim of mental abuse. She said, I quote, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. The singer went on to say that she found strength in it somehow and was able to understand it more as she grew older. She also prided herself on how she has handled the whole situation, explaining that she walked through it with as much grace as possible, which I think many of us will agree with. Let's be honest, sometimes even we find it hard to watch our loved ones move on to someone else. Imagine seeing it plastered all over the internet. Justin has been married to his wife Haley Baldwin since 2018 and they got engaged just a few months after he was spotted going to church with Selena. The two of them were spending a lot of time together during that time and sources were claiming that they were working on things. So if her lyrics are true, he moved on and replaced her within two months. I'll be damned. But in September 2019, Justin acknowledged some of his past behavior in a lengthy Instagram post. In it, he wrote, I started doing pretty heavy drugs at 19 and abused all of my relationships. I became resentful, disrespectful to women, and angry. So at least he's acknowledging his past mistakes. He did not respond to Selena's recent accusations, nor did Haley, which is probably for the best. I feel like if they did, this could get sticky real quick. Let me know what you guys are thinking about all this down in the comments and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. But for now, I'm gonna end our time together with some comment shout outs. Vaki says, jokes on you, I'm broke so I can't be scammed. Same, those influencers can't even fool me because I can't even buy your products. So no scamming happening on my end. Randy Dandy says, I did sugar bear hair for a year and my hair barely grew, LMAO. That does not surprise me. I'm actually happy I've never tried those. I have been tempted, but now you've given me every reason not to. Keaton's Corner says, wait, so flashing the sun your booty hole isn't healthy? No, Keaton, flashing your booty hole to the sun is not healthy. <laughs> Very dangerous. <laughs> Cocktails Makeup and Life says, it always amazes me how dumb people can be. Really? I feel like it does not amaze me at all. I'm actually like just kind of used to it. That is the generation we live in these days. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so you never miss another video. You can also keep watching more of our videos. Just stay on the screen. But for now, enjoy these bloopers. Clap. I missed that clap though. I missed that clap. You didn't hit play, boy. I'm like, where is? There you go. Okay. Don't even play. We all know that loves, loves you. Loves you. Lose you to love me. Girl, that's a tongue twister of a song title. Uh, I don't like saying booty hole on camera. <laughs> it feels so weird to say that. Silly Keaton. <laughs>